All right, everyone, I am in rural East Texas. Let me show you where on the map exactly. You can see Dallas up there in the upper left. I'm right here a little east and south of Tyler. There's an interstate here, interstate here. I'm gonna kind of do this area here. I'm gonna actually get close to Louisiana. Bunch of little small towns here I'm going to show you today. Uh, my goal is eventually to hit every little area like this in the United States over the next several years. So that in time, you can come to my channel and say, hey, what's this area of this state looks like? And you'll be able to see it. That's the goal. But anyway, today is East Texas. Now it is a Friday, little dreary, about uh, 10 a.m. I am heading into the small town of Overton. Let me tell you a little bit about the town as I approach it. Uh, about 2,200 people here, 2,275 people in Overton. The 2010 census, there was 2,554. So it's lost a few people. Peak population in this town was in 1936 when there were 4,500 people here. It's a town built on railroads. Uh, let me see what other information I got here. Poverty level 17.9%. So that's not too bad. Um, according to the U.S. Census in 2020, the average home here is going to cost you $83,800. That's pretty cheap. Uh, it looks like I'm approaching downtown now. According to Zillow, in September of 2022, an average house here will cost you $126,000. So home values have went up pretty good. Oh, and one other thing, the median household income is 44300 So with all that information that I've just given you, we now arrive in downtown. Beautiful downtown Overton, Texas. Let me take a right here. So I think there's some things I want to see this way. Yeah, I think I'm going to park the car, get on foot, or out on foot, and take a quick look. What do you guys think? Because there's a theater here I want to check out. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, I'm here. Downtown Overton. I'll take a quick look. Uh, I want to see this theater over here, so I'm going to walk over there and check it out. You know, it's rusted and old but it's still beautiful. Look at this old theater, Overton. It's glory days are long over. Got a no trespassing sign on the front. Violators will be prosecuted, but I hope they don't mind if I just take a look. Can you imagine this in its heyday? What a thing of beauty. Theaters were always the most beautiful buildings, or among the most beauty, uh, beautiful buildings in town. No exception here. It's gorgeous. Hey, I'm gonna head to that part of downtown and see what we see. Overton Press. Hmm. Are they still uh, operating it? A newspaper, it looks like. Uh, La Hacienda. Looks like that place is still operating. Let me check out another building over here. Yeah, look at this. Again, it's neglected, but boy, you can see the potential there, can't you? What a great little shop that would be. 1931 Coolidge Building. Man, what a potential beauty there. Amazing. See what else we can see here. 
Jesus saves over here. That's good to know. Right, I'm gonna come up on the uh, this other main street here and take a look. Uh, I don't know if this is open. You can see this building, it's in pretty bad disrepair. But look at that light. And there's lights inside. That are on. Hmm, not sure what's going on there. It's interesting. Lord's Florist. Oh, I'm out here on the main drag. Looking at, well, the decay, quite frankly. Paymaster Feeds, Leonard's Farm Supply. See, I talk about this a lot, but you could pull that sign off and sell it in a uh, antique shop. And you can get some money for that. We've got a barber shop, though, an old classic one. The barber's in there talking to a lady. Small town life. Anyway, yeah, not a lot going on here. Huh. Yeah, not much happening with the town. It's very quiet. Uh, 1934 Sexton building. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm back in the Bronco. I'm going to head to the next town. I actually talked to a police woman for a couple minutes while I was walking around the area here. Real nice lady. She's just making sure I wasn't causing trouble. Anyway, I'm going to head to the next town. It is called Henderson. So that's coming up next. I'm still in Overton at the moment, uh, making my way out of the town. But uh, I will be driving through New London, basically just a wide spot in the road. But I thought I might mention it because New London is the birthplace of Sandy Duncan. Now, you younger folk probably don't know who she is, but those of you who are older, like me, know exactly who she is. Huge star in her day, multi-talented actress, singer, dancer. But uh, yeah, her uh, beginnings were humble. Real tiny town of New London. That's where she was born. And she spent some time in nearby Tyler. Well, I've arrived in Henderson. Uh, looking at this old bail bonds building. I am uh, getting ready to drive into downtown. It's a pretty good sized city. 2020, there was 13,270 people here. 2010 was peak population. There were 13,700. Uh, downtown is called vibrant here, or described as such. Let's see for ourselves. We're fixing the head that way right now. It's a pretty healthy town. Poverty rates 8.5%. That's low. Uh, a lot lower than the U.S. average, which is above 11%. Median household income is 65,000. Almost the same as the U.S. Uh, average home here is worth about 170,000. And uh, anyway, you're seeing the downtown for yourself. It does look pretty nice, doesn't it? Lots of cars, traffic, well-kept buildings. Ah, look at this beautiful theater. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm a couple blocks out of downtown, 
thought I'd check out a neighborhood. Yeah, I ran across this house. Huge home. Looks like it caught on fire though. Really big house though. Yeah, a lot of interesting homes, different architecture. That's what I'd like to see. Really nice. Yeah, this is a nice town. Uh, <laughs> not much to report here. This house backs the blue. It's a beautiful home too. All right, I'm a little farther out of downtown. Looks like uh, I had a fire here. Well, that's got to suck. Yeah, it looks like an abandoned house there. And uh, there's a cross right here. Looks like somebody died there. Another old house. No trespassing. I don't think there's anybody living there. I'm going to guess not. Yeah, look like we got some abandoned homes here. Hmm. Okay, well, that's enough here in Henderson, I think. I'm going to head to the town of Carthage next. Well, everyone, I am in Carthage. I'm out on foot. You can see downtown here is one of those classic Texas squares. I uh, <clears throat> was familiar with Carthage. I couldn't remember why it was poking at my brain so I uh, dived down deep a little bit more and uh, this is the town where Bernie took place I don't know if you remember seeing that movie had Jack Black and Shirley MacLaine he played uh, a very popular funeral director that worked for a really mean lady Shirley MacLaine played her uh, in a fit of rage he killed her and put her body in a uh, freezer. And it was quite a while before they found it. But it was a good movie. <laughs> uh, Matthew McConaughey's mother is in it. And I gotta tell you guys, she is one good looking older woman. But anyway, yeah, I'm out here in this park here in, in the square. A little bit about uh, Carthage. 6,600 people here in 2020. 2010, there were 6,800, so it's lost a little bit of population. Texas Country Music Hall of Fame is here. Uh, let's see, the hard numbers. Poverty rate, 16.4. It's not bad. Uh, average home, cost you about $190,000. And... Uh, Medium household income is 44000 So it's just a little town. Well, maybe a small city. Uh, it's a quaint downtown. Just kind of swinging around here and giving you a look at it. Very busy. Lots of traffic. This is not one of these abandoned downtowns. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a look around here and see what I can see. Furniture and more. Used furniture. Candy cakes, probably a cupcake shop. Some realty, spotted zebra, looks like clothing, that kind of thing. Maybe secondhand. Uh, what is this? A salon. Yeah. This is the way you do it, folks. If you're a small town and Walmart's siphoned a lot of business away you just encourage these small town shops like this 
Uh, nicely done, Carthage. I kind of like this town. Got an old-fashioned barber shop here. Nice. Kids clothing. Oh, got a place for lease here. You want to open a shop? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Look at this old, <laughs> old shack. It looks like something out of a moonshine movie or something. All right, you can see a moonshine. Moonshiner living in that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, there's the main square of the town there, but no small town would be complete without an old theater. And uh, they have one here too. Most of the time, they're not in operation, but this one is. Yeah, she's a beauty. That is really cool. A lot of work has been done here to keep this downtown in business. You gotta be impressed with that. And looky here, I'm making a new friend. Well, well he was coming right up to me. But uh, I guess he doesn't want to hang out with me now. He's trying to decide. Huh? Huh? There you go. It's just a kitten. It's a baby. Yeah. There's no collar. I wonder if uh, she's homeless or he. Can't tell from here. I am at one of the landmarks of Carthage. It is a statue called Footprints in the Sand. It is a statue of Jesus carrying an old man. And basically you just follow these footsteps in what looks like sand. And there he is right there. I will walk over there and show you what the front of him looks like. I figured this would be near downtown, but it's not. It's out here on the edge of town. But it's worth coming out for, it looks like. Because look at it. Woo! It's pretty big. Yeah, that's Jesus. He's carrying an old man. How about that? Really interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Well, okay. Time to head to the next town. Uh, it's called, I want to say, Teneha. Uh, clearly an Indian name. Anyway, that's coming up next. All right, I'm in Teneha, Texas. I think that's how it's pronounced. A little small town of 989 people. Uh, there were 1160, a little over a thousand people, I guess, or 1100 people in uh, 2010. So the city's losing a little population. It is the birthplace of a famous clown, Bobo Barnett. Bobo the clown. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is it for downtown. Very small. Let me pan down there so you can see the rest of it. This town is uh, not quite as prosperous as some of these other towns. Poverty rate here is 40.1%. Uh, median household income is 22,173. I mean, that's really low. This <laughs> Bronco cost a lot more than that. Let me turn around, take another look. Show you uh, downtown in this direction. Hmm. I guess what I'm gonna do is maybe take a little bit of a look around. First State Bank. 
small but majestic in its day and tell. Hmm. Guess we can see what's over here. very small town so there's not a lot of places to drive to. So I'm just gonna I guess just uh, take a look around. Well we got some abandoned houses here. Uh, we've got one here that is that might have been a garage but it is uh, disintegrating. This is a small out of the way town. <laughs> the very definition of it, I would say. Looks like we have a donut breakfast shop there. It's got people there having some breakfast, it looks like. Uh, a gas station that has failed here. Take a look up here. Of course, uh, you knew you were going to see this Dollar General. Okay, well, I'm going to head to the next town. It's called uh, Timpson. So that's coming up next. All right, I am driving into Timpson. Population of Timpson is the exact same as Tenaha, 989 people. That was in 2020, of course, U.S. Census. Uh, peak population was in 1930, and there were 1,545 people here. At the traffic lights, turn left onto Jacob Street then arrive at your destination. Well, thank you for that, Australian Siri. She's directed me to where I need to go. Uh, to downtown, which I can see is over there. So, heading, the, heading there now. <laughs> Tell you a little bit about the town. Poverty rates 25.6%, median household income, 34,700. Arrive at Timpson. Thank you, Australian Siri. Arrive. Uh, average house will cost you 192,000 here. Uh, it's kind of a quaint downtown, really. Hmm, kind of nice. I mean, it's old and there's some old rundown buildings, but. It's got some character too. Look at the colors. A few cars down here too. So there's a bit of activity. It's a hub of some kind, which you always want to see in these small towns. Uh, there's even a movie theater. Check this out. Always one of, if not my favorite building in every city that I go to, every small town anyway, is the movie theater. Most of the time they are boarded up and empty. This is no exception. Yeah, there's that theater. Hmm. Let's see what we got over here. There's the uh, another section of it. 
I'm gonna head down this way. No mural there that's fading. Got a house over here. Definitely needs some work. The roof, roof is out. I'm a, a block off the downtown now. Taking a look around the town. That all over, or look at that all uh, over there. Hmm. Holy cow. That is a big accumulation of stuff. It's a lot there, wasn't there? Wow. Well, it's an interesting place, isn't it? I'm back in downtown. How about that? This was quite the downtown in its day. Okay. Oh, there's that train. I knew I heard something, or heard it. All right, well with that, I'm gonna head to the next town. Uh, it's called Rusk. Well, I'm stuck here for a minute. I have to cross that track. Guess what came as soon as I was ready to go? That's right, the train. So I guess I'm going to rest here for a minute. <laughs> I like looking at trains though. Anyway. Alright, Rusk is next. Try it again. Rusk is next. Alright, I am entering Rusk, Texas. Uh, in 2020, there were 5,300 people here. Uh, peak population was 1950. There were 6,600 people. Poverty rates 14%, so that's not too bad. Average household income is 48,200. So a little bit lower than the national average, but uh, given the low cost of living, I would guess that they have here. It's probably pretty good. Looks like uh, it's got your typical Texas Square downtown. It's a few people here, it looks like. Some cars. It's, it's not a dead downtown like you see some of these towns. Looks pretty nice so far. Uh, we got a county courthouse here. That looks, uh, wow, looks really nice. Anyway, I'm just gonna drive around the square here and show it to you. Give you a look-see. We'll swing around. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Chapman Pharmacy. I see a movie theater over there. I'll head in that direction in a second. We'll go this way first. There's some nice old buildings here. I see a big mural. Uh, looks like they're working on this building right here. Yeah, it's got a big mural on it. This is a town founded by trains. 
So that explains this big mural. I'm gonna head up this way. Wow, look at that house. That's kind of fascinating, isn't it? Uh, looking, isn't it? Really interesting. I told you I saw a theater here. We'll take a look at that. Uh, Cherokee, it says. Looks pretty fantastic from here already. Yeah, it's the Cherokee Theater. And it's got a picture of a Cherokee Indian. Up there at top. Can you see that? An amazing building. Sadly, it's uh, setting empty. But look at this house. Wow! That is a big house. Huh. Huh. Well, let's see what else we can find here. Ah, uh, look at this wind. It's really picking up. Believe it or not, this area that I'm in right now has just went under a tornado watch. I am smack dab in the middle of Tornado Alley at the moment. It was really warm today in the 80s, and this is early November. So, um, yeah, clearly some colder air is moving in. That's always the recipe for tornadoes. Believe it or not, I'm only two blocks out of downtown. This is what it looks like. It's crazy, huh? Uh, beautiful. All right, well, uh, I think I've had enough of being here. Interesting town, though. But anyway, uh, it's time to go to the next and last town. Uh, it's called Jacksonville. Well, I'm in downtown Jacksonville. It's kind of, uh, what can I say, all over the place? Hmm, uh, there's 14,000 people in Jacksonville. So this is the biggest town that I've visited. 2010, there were 14,500. So, uh, city's lost a little population. Poverty rates 18.2%. Median household incomes 43,800. Uh, uh, Jacksonville calls itself the tomato capital of the world. Look at this traffic. Uh, I'm going to look around a little bit, but let me get out of this traffic jam. I'm going to head into downtown here. Uh, what I can see of it. What was I saying? Oh yes, tomato capital of the world. Uh, tomatoes are so big here, they have a huge tomato fest once a year. Uh, lots of people come to it. If you are a country music fan, you should know that Leanne Womack was born here. Right now, I think I'm just going to drive around a little bit. For me, it's kind of an odd downtown. You know, you don't really have that big cluster of buildings. They're kind of spread out all over. And this town's got, you know, 14,000 people. So while it's not huge, usually you have a couple blocks of real old buildings. Not really seeing it here. You, you see them in little spots like this right here. Uh, it's kind of odd. I'll just drive around a little bit. See what else here. Yeah, so there's downtown. Hmm. 
Look at all this traffic. <laughs> the light is way down there. Well, I don't want to make any Jacksonville people mad, but I got to be honest with you. Uh, this downtown is personality-less. Is that the right word? It's lacking in personality. It's just a big jumble of buildings with no rhyme or reason. And I don't even see any particularly beautiful ones. You know, when you come to these towns like this, you want to see the really old buildings. Even if they've been, you know, abandoned and left empty. You like to see that. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I just don't see it here. They'll have a little stretch here and there where there's a couple. I am at the tomato bowl. See, there's a tomato. Home of the Jacksonville fighting Indians. Looks like it's a uh, high school stadium. Got you an Indian right here, Indian chief. Now the gates are open. Uh, why don't I go take a look? Well, nobody's asked me for tickets yet. Looks like we got some uh, high school football going on today. Yeah, that makes sense. It is Friday. This is Texas. High school football is king. Yep. Yeah, high school football game going. Touchdown is good. Wow. That's cool. Well, all right. I think uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Let me get out here. You can see downtown here in, in the distance again. Um, yeah, this will be the end. Next video, uh, we'll have Nicole with me, and we are going to Tyler, Texas. It's not far from here. So, be looking for that.